Yes, my peoples, it's T, and I'm back with Apprentice episode five, my reaction and review. Let's get it. All right, so long story short, this is going to be um, a slightly different one to the previous episodes. I have less clips, but more reaction, more in-depth reaction, because quite a lot happened in this episode. It was actually one of the better episodes, again, for a while. Um, I did, I did enjoy this one um, and I did enjoy this task. So it was slightly different. Um, and I'm going to also be giving my predictions as well on various things um, throughout the rest of the series um, as we get closer to the end of the series. So this week they had to, they started at the Battersea Power Station. If anybody has been there, um, the surrounding area is quite nice to be fair. Um, but yes, they've redeveloped that. Um, and this was all around Formula E, um, and they had to create a brand, host a launch event, and secure sponsorship for said brand. Um, so, first clip I'm going to play is something which I'm glad has finally happened, and I explain why once the clip has been played. So let me let me play this. Let me okay, play this. I'm going to mix the teams up because Supreme. You've lost the last two cars. So Flo and Paul, will you move over to Supreme? So essentially Paul and Flo have now moved over onto Supreme. Um, now the reason why I'm glad this finally happened is because I've been saying for weeks and weeks that the teams are unbalanced, that um, Team Supreme have a lot of the very weak and poor players on this team. And they, this is why they keep losing every week. Paul and Flo, one of the stronger people from the other team, they've moved over onto this team. Um, so let's see if they can come, if, if they can help them out or will they stay supremely poor? <laughs> you see the playing words there? Um, but yeah, let's see, because they've been, yeah, they have been supremely poor over the last few weeks. So let's see. Um, then we moved on to um, the vote, um, the voting, which was, which is essentially um, seeing who became the PMs. As normal, um, Paul won the vote to be PM on the Supreme team. Just joined the team; he's already PM. Um, to be fair, he was one of the, the, the he was one of the standout people last episode. Um, so it'd be good to see him as PM. And I was right in my prediction last week as well. Last week I did say it looks like Paul's going to be a PM this week, um, and I was right. And on other team, Trey is the PM. Um, Trey is the PM. And then they had to decide the ethos, and let's get straight into it. No, no, we're messing about. Trey's ethos, initially in my thoughts, Trey's ethos um, to go with the C um, for me was not a great idea. It, it didn't really correlate to the to Formula E. Um, I get it. You want to be eco friendly, all of this stuff, all of that jazz. But but how do you relate the C to a electric vehicle? This doesn't make sense doesn't quite make sense Paul I think had a great ethos he was explaining it very well to his team as well he, he really touched on um touched on everything and, and he actually related to his car as well um so literally um he gave them a quite a lot to work with you know working with air talking about air pollution petrol virtually electric um all of the legal initiatives around you know bringing making everything all electric by 2040 um all of this stuff and even the alliter the alliteration with the ease you know energy efficient all electrics like I thought that was great from Paul. Very clear direction there. Um, but yeah, the only thing, the only concern I have with this, the only concern I have is that he, as I mentioned before, and I keep saying it, keep saying it often, he has some very, very poor people on his team still. Um, so um, I'm not sure they can execute his vision, but time will tell. It's a bit like football. It's a bit like football. You can have a great manager, but if, he, if the players, if the players have a certain ceiling, they never going to be prime Barcelona <laughs> if anybody gets that reference so Paul I think he set out his vision work very well but the players that he has on his team very poor very poor as I've been saying for weeks so let's see if they can really execute the vision over time um and now moving on to to the sub PMs um Felucho um was a sub PM for the team with Trey and Verdi was a sub PM um for the team with Paul Again, I am very concerned about this one because I've been saying this since literally episode one. Verdi needs to go 
home. I find this guy really poor, very cringe, and he just doesn't know what he's doing. All talk and all facial reactions, but no actual substance. Um, so Birdie as sub-PM could be the downfall of Paul. Um, so time will tell, time will tell there as we move forward throughout the episode. Um, but yeah, I do like the way how Paul, in the episode, he gave really straight points. He was a little bit flaky in terms of be be fluid. That was a little bit flaky. But overall, he gave some really good points and he was actually listening, um, really listening. Um, yeah, he... He um there was a part where um Onyeka he was setting out who 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 wants to be on each team and Onyeka really really called really stood the ground was like I think you should put me on, on the branding team um not sorry on the corporate team because I have re- great experience with corporate clients and I've been doing this for years and please put me on, on the corporate team and he listened and he put her there um so she better perform in that position since she really really asked for that um. But his branding, but Paul's branding team is very weak, very weak. As again, the players on this team are so poor. So good luck to them. Um, Mora, Verdi, um, um, I'm not too sure. And Sam, I'm not convinced about her yet either. So to have all those three people, um, Mora, Verdi and Sam on the same team, it's, it's a recipe for disaster, I'm going to be honest. But we'll see. On the other team, the branding team with Feluso was hilarious. Um, they kept trying to argue over car, no car, put a car there. Feluso was trying to be but stern like listen we're not having a car there but in the end she gave into that and they put up <laughs> they put a random car on the on the logo which for me was a mess um and yeah many many things happened in between that in between that there was the ever team verdi chose orange um a very statement color there um and green i'm not sure what that was about um the logo as well was um <sighs> yeah the logo was poor tire a tire inside a checkered flag. Um, yeah, honestly, and, and some, yeah, I'm not even getting to that. It's poor. It's just, it's just poor all round. Um, yeah, but saying that, saying that Trey's team did get 17 million initially for the sides and bumper, sides and damper, sorry, um, which obviously is, is a good bit of um, negotiating there to get those advertising spots sold. Um one thing I want to say about Paul, though, he does seem, he seems so poised and controlled in the way how he speaks. Um, and in the, in the, there was a negotiation happening there with, with Flo. Flo's normally a good negotiator. However, however, another person on this team, I told you this team has so many poor people on their tray. I mean, not tray, sorry. Um, Verdi, um, <laughs> Verdi, Sam, um, I'm forgetting names here because they're all sort of poor, but another person who's also poor on this team is Phil. Phil has been awful since day one. And Phil, I think, kind of messed up the negotiations. He kept just butting in, butting in, and just, just, just yeah, just messing up, messing up the flow of flow. Um, so, yeah. And Paul gave clear instructions here as a PM. He said, do not interject anybody. So I don't know why he, he was interjecting and flowing, 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 throwing people off. Um, but yeah, the price they got was poor in the end as well. I think they got 10 million in the end, um, which was obviously 7 million less than the other team. Um, but yeah, yeah, I do really think Paul gave pretty mostly clear instructions, but his team so far have been letting him down. Um, and I think they may actually end up giving Trey, Trey's team this win, despite, despite Paul having, I think, the better vision, but it's just not really being executed by the team. Unfortunately, um, and then moving on um, to the the videos, <sighs> Verdi apparently is, is a producer. He is very creative. As expected, he absolutely butchered the ad. Didn't follow the brief. Um, and as I said earlier, these constant poor, these constant poor performances by these people are going to be the downfall of this team. Verdi, Mora, Sam. Phil, there's too many of the weaker players on that side of the team for them to ever succeed. And yes, Flo and Paul has moved over there now to try and save them from 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 failing. Let's see if that if that can work. Um, but if they do if they do fail, I don't think Paul deserves to be fired. Um, but yeah, yeah, let's let's um let's move on from that. So going back to the other team, um, Feluso, um, and Raj and Noor was pretty poor in collaborating on um various elements of the sub team task um 
yeah, it was it was it was quite it was quite poor. So let me play a little clip here. What do we have? Let's just show the solution. Can we not just say it and show the fit what it's polluting? If we talk about the environment being damaged, you know, just showing fresh water, they're not seeing the damage. Exactly. I think it's important to get contaminated water. Well, that, I think it's important too. I'd rather just stay on the water. <laughs> Honestly, the, I think that was poor as well. Faluso, one word, poor. I don't know what she was thinking. They're like, oh, I want to stay on the water. Yeah, let's not show any. Let's not make it depressed. The whole point of this, you know, eco-friendly environmental piece is to is to show what what damage is being caused by these things, and then show what it can look like or what it should look like. So, not having not having an example in the really big mess there. That's just basics, basics. So, yeah, um, Verdi's logo poor, Feluso's logo poor, videos poor. Um, one word rubbish for Verdi. It looked so low budget with with the with the with the green screen. Um, I know I'm using a green screen right now, but the green screen video behind it and the girls on top of it with their poor acting skills, it was just, just it was yeah awful. Um, yeah, Feluso's video wasn't as bad as the other teams, but it was overall it was still very poor. Um, but one thing I did notice about Paul's car, which was designed by Verdi, I guess, um, it looked like the flag of India. It looked like the flag of India. It looked like a cross between the flag of India and Lotus, the car brand. It looked like a bit of a... Um, you kind of toss up between the two. Um, and I get that Tata is their main sponsor and Tata obviously are based in India, but um, wow, there's no need to, to kind of go all out like that and just, you know, make your, your brand purely based on one sponsor when you have, you know, you could have multiple sponsors. Um, but, and it's funny, it's funny that was actually, I meant, I saw that, but obviously, Paul noticed the same thing. Um, and due to his due to his quick thinking in, in negotiations, he was able to kind of use that to his advantage um, and secure actually more than ten million. End up getting fifteen million, which is great. Um, completely opposite to the other team, Faluso messed up by obviously vetoing showing the pollution elements, and because of that, you know, trade trade went from seventeen million down to ten million in the end. So they swap places. Terrible, 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 terrible. And moving on to the to the pitches, you know, to get some more sponsorship. Trey's speech, super emotive. He was he was in the in the zone in the groove. On Yeka though, on Yeka after begging, after begging to be part of the corporate team due to a great experience with them, she completely fumbled. I'm calling her Fumbelina from now on. Her new name is Fumbelina because wow, absolutely poor. Like she's completely just struggling. Struggling and I get it, you can get nervous in these in these environments, but if you have all this experience with the corporate clients, apparently according to your own words, come come on and, and do better. Do better. Um so yeah. Um so yeah, again, I, I know I said it before, but Paul has been really let down by his team. Um and Flo as well, to be fair, has been let down. Again, they both came over to try and help this team, but this team this team seems helpless i'm gonna be honest it seemed like a lost cause too many poor players on the team to ever perform no matter how good your manager is um so um moving on to more poorness verdi sub team poor poor like they're trying too hard they're trying too hard to sell this is when they was trying to sell things sell their sponsorship um slots they was trying too hard as I mentioned last week, you need to butter up the client. You need to talk about what's your ethos, you know, what do you stand for, and you know, try to build some sort of rapport with the client. They were trying to, they were, like, Verdi was just rushing. He's like, "Well, so what you want to buy? How much you want to pay?" Like, just relax, calm down. Even the client asked him, "So what do you stand for?" And they couldn't even explain it. And again, that's Anyeka, um, Anyeka's fault there as well, in my opinion. Um, but it was poor. So I think, um, yeah, I think I think it was poor. Um, and also the other team. No, sorry, the same team, that tree, that tree was just a dumb idea. That was Paul's idea, by the way, to be fair. So that's one thing or two things that Paul has done, Paul. The, the, just, uh, yeah, saying, saying to be fluid and putting that tree on the car. Like, you don't block an advertising space anywhere, ever. That's, that's like, that's one-on-one. You keep advertising spots empty. Put a tree there just to try to cater to to one client, Tata, who would never put their, their thing there anyway. It's ridiculous. Who puts ads? No one puts a logo inside another, another thing. That makes sense. So it's just common sense, dumb. Anyway, um, but in contrast to that, the Ever team had some very good sales. Rachel, 
I think she's going to be one to watch. I know Flo had a great time with negotiating a few weeks ago and then she's kind of dipped a little bit. But Rachel is one to be watched. She has been doing, well, this episode, she done very well. She was very stern, very professional, very just, just upfront. And she negotiated in every aspect of the task, everywhere, very, very well. Um, and made a lot of good sales. Um, so, yeah. On Yeke, waffling, waffling a lot. Um, I don't think they're going to really, I don't think they're really going to get much sales in this team. Um, poor slogan, poor logo, strong colour. Doesn't work, doesn't work. Um, but anyway, on to the boardroom. Um i will be surprised if Trey's team do not win this because although the ethos wasn't as great as Paul's, in my opinion, the Ever team was let down by the candidates in that team and some poor decision making. Um, so I guess, well, let's see if Paul and Flo was able to change the fortunes of this supremely poor team. Um, but let me play a little clip here. Let me play a little clip here. Awesome. That is, yeah. is it? You chose one of his songs. Okay. So Verdi put, put, so put one of his. put one of his songs. Yeah, one of yeah. this Trey songs. Yeah. Getting some royalties as well. Probably, probably a lot, a lot, sixteen pence. <laughs> Well, the only eco-friendly bit there is you recycled one of his old, <laughs> old songs. That's about it. Um, Spielberg, what did you think about this? Uh, Spielberg. Scorsese's this time, were you? Uh, uh, unfortunately, I don't even know who they are, but yeah. Something like Honestly, <laughs> I am... Um, I, I, that For me, that's unbelievable. Now, I'm not really that big into movies and stuff myself, but surely everybody knows who Steven Spielberg is. Martin Scorsese is another big one as well. You should know who who they are, really. So, and especially he's meant to be like a creative in the in the in, in that creative media, you know, musician type in industry. You would know about these these things, but yeah, shows a lot about about his his level of um you know intelligence. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, on to the results. Actually, no, before I get to the results, um. I'm gonna give you some thoughts on my opinions on who was the weakest people in weakest people in each team. So Faluso for me was the poorest, poorest in Trey's team, in my opinion. The sub team was was poor in general, to be fair. It could, it could be a number of people. On the Ever team, there was at least three or four poor people. Um Verdi was shocking, as usual. Phil wasn't great. Sam, I didn't see what she'd done. Anyeka was terrible. Um and someone else I'm missing who's probably poor as well. But yeah, that team, that team's overall is shocking. Um, but yeah, I think it's all both teams. It's all on the sub, the sub, the sub teams, the sub teams. But um, onto results. Let's see what the results are saying. Let's go. Corporate clients. But let's hear how you did with the other sponsors. So okay, Tim, from the clients that attended, the team managed to secure an additional six point five million. It's probably even got six million. Of and a half Why is Flo's hair always like flowing? <laughs> and Karen, like there's a fan in front of her. Uh, well, Alan, in uh, any Nexus, scene, they secured an extra twenty-eight million. Twenty-eight point seven million. Total wow. Thirty-eight. What a big difference! Ooh. What a big difference! Wow. They got absolutely annihilated, 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 annihilated. Wow. So, as expected, based on how this episode progressed, I said so many times. This ever team has too many poor candidates to ever win anything, ever. Flo and Paul moved over there to try and save them, but that wasn't enough. In my opinion, Verdi, Phil, Mora, and Onyeka are really, really poor. Um, any of them could go, if not all of them, at the same time. I've been saying this, I've been saying these names, especially Verdi and Phil and Mora, I've been saying these names every single week since the start of the series. Um, so I don't know how they keep surviving because they keep losing. Um, but it just shows how many poor people there have been on this on this one team. Um, I don't think Paul done too much wrong as a PM, to be fair. So I don't think he, he should go. Um, he done what he could. He laid out a clear vision. There was a couple of things he could have done better. But overall, I don't think he was bad. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, overall, I, I generally I generally think... Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just really tired of Verdi. Uh, I really think he should go. Really think he should go. But Phil and Onyeka, maybe maybe even Sam and Mora could easily go too. Um, my predictions are because um, I know I know the result of this one, so I won't say my prediction yet for this one. But my predictions for next week. In fact, I won't get to that yet. I won't get to that yet because 
Um, yeah, I won't get to that yet because I want to actually talk m- more about um, more about the people that was brought back. So um, basically, Paul brought back Onyeka and Verdi into the boardroom. Um, I think this week should be should be a double firing, in my opinion. Um, so should we should bring back everybody, and it should be Verdi and Onyeka. I think probably should go this week, maybe even Phil. But um, yeah. But they only brought back two people, so Verdi and Ayaka came back. Um, and you know what's funny as well? There's a point where Alan Sugar said um, to Anyeka, um, you messed up a few times. Anyeka was like, I disagree with that, Lord Sugar. Um, that actually annoyed me because she clearly messed up many times. So how can you disagree with messing up when you just messed up on camera, live, in 4K? Don't get it. Um, but I do think Paul did bring back the right two people, Verdi and Anyeka. But let's see the result. Let's see the result. Let's go. Onyeka. Lord Sugar. You are clearly a charming and highly intelligent. Saying some person. very nice things about her. Uh, and I appreciate that you've done your best throughout the course of this process. But on this occasion, best ain't good enough. Uh, it simply wasn't enough. Oh. So it is with regret. <laughs> you're fired. You're fired. Yeah, man. Goodbye. Goodbye. Honestly, it could have been any of them. I, st- I, f- I still prefer prefer it to be Biverdi, to be honest. Useless, in my opinion. But, yeah, Anyeka's fired. Um, she's such a nice such a nice person. She's just very softly spoken. And she always looks like she wants to cry. <laughs> she just seems like a very soft person. Um, Verdi also very, very well-mannered in the boardroom as well. Um, Apologising for, you know, for cutting people off. Um, Paul, as always, very calm, well-spoken. But in the end, I do think um, probably the right person went um, just because of that poor ethos that she kind of developed um, or didn't develop, essentially. But in my opinion, it should have been a double firing with Verdi being one person because Verdi has been poor for literally weeks, day one, episode one. Um, But it's very clear to me that Anyeke isn't ready for this kind of environment at all. I do wonder what her business idea was, though, um, if it was something useful. Um... But yeah, next week is a task around designing a brand, designing and branding as a new cereal, essentially. So um, let's see how that goes. It's a very similar task to this one, to be fair. Um, this week, just a different product. But um, I'm gonna give you some 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 predictions. Um, so my prediction is, if they don't if they don't mix the teams up again, Team Supreme is gonna lose again, and I think this time it's gonna be um, Phil or Verdi um, or Mora that's gonna go home. One of them three are going to go home. If somehow the Everton loses because of their own fault, then it's probably going to be for Luso. Um, yeah, probably going to be for Luso, but, or for Luso, whatever her name is. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway, anyway, this was longer than it needed to be, but there's a lot to get through. Less clips, but a lot to get through because a lot happened in this episode. Um, but yeah, as usual, if you made it to the end, like, comment, subscribe, and order that jazz, and I will see you next week. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.